Welcome back to Tracy Crokinole Boards. We have another battle between Jeremy Tracy and Simon Dowrick. These uh, these were all recorded on one day. They just sat down and uh, did battle to uh, to see who comes out on top. And uh, I, I can tell you that these two go back and forth. And uh, it depends on the day who's going to come out on top. But now we're into a, a 20s race. Something that I don't recommend getting into with Simon because uh, on a normal day he is he's pretty deadly on those open 20s and sometimes my strategy is to get it away from that 20 hole as best I can and have him play a, a different kind of crokinole than those open 20s because. Uh, but in this round, Jeremy's up three to two. Simon was the first uh, in this three to two in the 20 count. In um, Simon was the first to miss, which has as. Jeremy in a favorable position. Here we go. Uh, Simon's probably going to be looking at a follow through 20 in order to get back into the 20s race here. Oh, uh, it stuck a little on uh, on contact. He didn't hit it with quite enough oomph. Oh, oh I got Jeremy getting aggressive. Got he uh, tried to catch a peg and come back for a 20, which would have definitely been a bit uh, really, really... Oh, really, nice. really helpful, but instead he sets Simon up for a 20, tying the 20 count, and then follows that up with a Super Steve. So now Simon is in the driver's seat of this round. Tied in 20, Simon's got the got the hammer shot. All he needed was a valid shot. He wins. And yeah, when, when you get two players that are very evenly matched, sometimes one mistake is all it takes. Um, yeah, in order to... Oh, I've been on the wrong side of a lot of uh, a lot of a lot of rounds against top level players that just one mistake was all it took that I needed to make in order to be on the wrong side of it. But oh, no. Now this is where Jeremy loves to play over in his side of the board. You see, he intentionally doesn't knock the white all the way off. He's looking to extend play over there. Again, because this, uh, if Simon wants to force play back to the middle, he needs to, he needs to accomplish, he needs to take everything out on Jeremy's side of the board. Otherwise, nice. Jeremy's just going to sit over here and and toy with him, like he's doing. We'll see this time. This time he takes it out because he thought he had an opportunity to hide, which he did. That's uh, that's a pretty darn good hide. Nice. Although Simon is a pretty darn good sniper, <laughs> picking off buttons behind the pegs. Even Back into the center. No pressure. Oh! And again, <laughs> Jeremy misses. What do we have here? They each have one shot left, so the uh, the pressure is still on Simon. Oh, shit. Now all Jeremy needs to do is hit and stick to win this round, and he has it. So they are tied 2-2 two -two yeah. in this match. Yeah, you're on fire. Now, if you've watched the first three matches that they've played on this day, uh, Jeremy has been getting the better of Simon, but like I say, it uh, it does tend to go back and forth. So we'll see how this one works out. Back in, uh, that's why open 20s are so important because every round starts with a 20s race. There's, uh, oh, the damage rule was Jeremy's friend there because... Uh, yeah, this is a lot better oh. spot for his button to end up. Now he's over here in his... Oh, oh. he took that off. I think he took it off because he felt spot. that... Yeah, he's saying it was such a great spot that it's it's tough to hit. Not for Simon, though, apparently. So <laughs> yeah, now we're back to the 20s race again. Jeremy's up 2 nothing. Simon finding his groove again. I may, I may regret that decision. Yet. A near miss. No. Simon with another str strong follow through. He's got the power, but his his angle was a little bit off. Now this time Jeremy leaves the white one on. Watch, so we'll see Simon here. Oh. Simon was that trying was to take both of them out. <laughs> Jeremy intentionally blasts all the way through the center because he knows that Simon cannot make a twenty oh, from the far side of the board. So. Although that may have been an error, it probably wasn't quite late enough in the round for that. But oh, I missed it. Almost, he I, left the door left open the door for Simon. If he had drained that follow through twenty, then uh, it would have tied the round. But yeah, sometimes the sometimes it's good to take a little extra second and think about your strategy because 
it can bite you if you uh, if you overuse a strategy. It doesn't always doesn't always work out in your favor. Losing my on my own, right? It's a it's a group effort. See, that's totally off. I haven't been practicing. Simon uh, misses. Jeremy just doing the hit and stick because. With Simon's ability to come off a peg like that, it uh, it's not necessarily a safe place to be, but he, he must have felt it was safe enough. And now Simon's probably going to be forced to go for a follow through. When you said in that video, yes, Simon, I don't think he knows how to play safety. Oh. Oh. Yeah, the angle was not quite right for that uh, for that touch twenty there. I just turn on the camera and what comes out comes out, right? And yeah. Yeah, it's got to be, see here, I think this is setting Jeremy up for a fairly nice hide in behind that peg. We'll see if Sniper Simon can pull this off again. Oh, Ooh, he catches a peg because that that is a, that's a tough shot through there. Like I was surprised at my own shots, but I don't remember every shot. Right? Yeah. Let's see, yeah, he just looked to peel everything because he's he's pretty happy with that hide behind the peg. So rather than run any risk of setting Simon up in around that center oh, hole. No. And uh, yeah, that time the strategy paid off because again, yeah. Simon wasn't able to catch the. Let's see if third time's trying time here. Nice. Nice. Oh, yeah, he it's sniped it. Hard to say. Now it is. Yeah, now it's mathematically impossible. The guy's just on fire. Another 6-2 victory for uh, for Jeremy in this match, and uh, yeah, I say I don't always, it's been long enough, I don't remember every game, but I do know that the tide does swing, so please stick around and uh, watch Simon redeem himself in future matches here, because he does, he bounces back and, and uh, has some great crokinole like he normally does. Very, uh, very aggressive on the open 20s, very aggressive in follow-throughs and pegs, and uh, yeah, but that's it. that wraps up another match, and uh, check back for, for match number five, and then on this particular day, we did end it out like we like to do with a race to nine, so that would be, uh, that's kind of the one that really matters, so yeah, hope you're enjoying this so far, and we'll see you soon.